trying a new fun thing at Aldi. I've never seen it at Aldi before. Maybe it's been there for a while and I'm just now seeing it. I don't know. But um, sometimes Aldi carries some fun German products because Aldi is actually a German company, which I recently found that out. I thought that was kind of cool. And so I saw these really yummy strudels in their freezer section. Uh, they look delicious. They good. You bring them home, they're frozen, you pop them in the oven and they puff right up in your oven. They started off kind of smaller and poof. They looked amazing while they were baking. And they're even bigger than this. Golden they're brown on top. And hot right now. They have little sugar crystals on top. They're amazing. Yeah. So they have two flavors at our Aldi. Um, they had apple and with raisin. And they also had fruits of the forest, which says it has apple and some other tart berries, which I'm very excited about. I love tart so much. So it's a very flaky. Uh, pastry crust. I don't you like want whipped flaky. cream on yours? We have a little bit of cr okay. whipped cream we're going to add on top. We just had dinner, so this is a nice, fun little treat. Um, something new and fun to try. We've never yeah. had strudel before, so hey, something new. We've had toaster strudel. Toaster strudel? That's about as uh, strudely as we have gotten before in our life. So Strudel. And we love toaster strudel, don't we, Kinley? Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. That's German for no. <laughs> Everyone knows that. He took German when he was in high school, and he learned what? Four words? Nine. <laughs> I think he knows four words. Uh, uh, German. You know how to say 11 in German? What? It's really easy to remember. Elf. Elf. There oh. you go. 11. If you ever need to know 11 in German, there you go. Elf. Mm -hmm. Little tip. An answer Little tip from the smaller house. Is 11. Raise your hand and say 11. Answer 11. Incredibly incorrect. Okay. If you're in Germany and you're 11 years old, you can say, I'm elf. I'm elf. That's all. I'm elf. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to eat elf? because it's my the one I'm most excited about. I'm going to try the tart berry first. Mm. Ooh, it's steaming nice and hot. That's this one, Kim. Oh, it smells so good. I don't Careful, like, it's really mm, hot. I don't like flaky or I just got berries. the flaky part only. And you didn't it's get really any good. berries, though? Uh -uh. I got the, like, the outside crust, and wow. That's a treat. Mm, I got berries. Like flaky. Mm. Okay, so I'll go on to the berries. Mm. Mm. You taste some different types of berries. Mm -hmm. It looks like there's like a, almost like cherry and mm -hmm. raspberry in there. I don't know if you can see or not. It is tart. It's steaming. It is steaming. Mm. It'd be good with ice cream on top too, probably. Mm -hmm. Vanilla ice cream. Oh, wow. I love this. This berry fruit. You can taste that apple in fruits there. Of huh? the field, fruits of the forest. Mmm. And usually the, berries like all berry, mm -hmm. but with the apple, it really helps. Yeah, I like the different the different berries in there, and this crust is incredible. It's so flaky and good. What do you think? I like flaky. Yeah, you know, she was a little nervous about this, but. Do you like it now? Oh, you don't. <laughs> this was this was right Nine. up my alley. I thought this sounded amazing. Wow. Mm. Okay. Mmm. I like it. Easy too, it's right? Tart. You pop it in the oven. You don't have to like make it. I know. This is a, a fun, nice little dessert or maybe even a breakfast thing to be able to just have a little chunk of breakfast. But Because this is one strudel between us. Well. One each. So I cut each strudel into three pieces. Yeah. So each half, or that's one yeah. strudel. So I cut up two strudels. One apple comes, and one. One, one per box or how's it? Two come? per box. Two per two box. Two strudels per box. So. Cool. All right, I'm trying the apple now. Me too. Whoa. Those sugar bits on top are kind of uh, chunky. Have you been into one yet? I haven't gotten one yet. They like, I don't it, like cooked apples. It hits you. You don't like cooked apples? Like apple pie? I don't pie? like apple pie. Oh, silly girl. I love mm. apple pie. Oh, the apple pie smells so, or the apple strudel smells amazing. It's I can smell good. like nutmeg in there and cinnamon. All right. I like these. Mm. I'm a fan. Mm-hmm. Sorry, Kinley. Ki kids don't like apple pie and berries. Yeah, this usually. is like a, this is like an adult, mm -hmm. sophisticated dessert. Mm -hmm. This is killer. Mm. Uh, what are they called? Just strudel. It mm -hmm. doesn't have a fancy name or something. A strudel. It's a strudel. It's a strudel. I think that means like. It means delicious. That's what it means. Mm -hmm. Strudel is I would German take for this, amazing like, delicious. Over cookie or ice oh cream yeah, or candy. 
Amazing, uh, amazing. Imagine you take this to like a dinner party or something. I think this would in be a big German hit. it means um, pastry. Pastry. It just might. It is fantastic. It's so easy. It was really good. I really like it. dry. Is that German? <laughs> remember on um, uh, remember on that one show with the bobsled? They, oh, they tried to copy cool the runnings. They tried to copy the germs or I spied dry and it didn't work, so then they're like We need our own thing. Feel the rhythm, feel the rhyme. Get on up, it's bobsled time. Feel the rhythm, feel the rhyme, get on up, it's bobsled time. I love cool running. That's a good movie. That is a good movie. I haven't seen that forever. That's a good one. You're not gonna eat yours? I'm sad that you don't like it. Well, this is not Kinley approved, but it's definitely mom and dad approved. Yeah. So, if you're an adult, get it for yourself. <laughs> so, for a very inexpensive treat, mm -hmm. it is good. I would recommend this for sure. Mm. Well, we're going to rate it on a scale from one to five. Maybe we should let Kenley go last since she didn't <laughs> like it. Um, I'll go mm. ahead and rate them. To me, they both tasted equally good. Oh, yeah. I probably like the uh, the berry one better just because it you know, has all the extra stuff. Yeah. But uh, the apple one's great too. Yeah. I would love to try this with ice cream, like a vanilla ice Ooh, cream. Vanilla bean ice cream on top. Delicious. Very good. So I was impressed from a store bought thing, bought like this. Yeah. And I've, those flakiness, and you know, it's cooked just right and warm I've out of the oven. I've never had anything frozen that I cooked in my own oven this fast that tasted this, this so, homemade. So for me, you know, it. I'm not a big sweet tooth, and it, it's a perfect amount. Um, mm -hmm. It's warm, it's hot, it's fresh, it has all that good uh, fruit in there. And I think it would go good with anything, with the whipped cream, mm -hmm. with ice cream. By with itself? With, you could put like caramel on top of it or mm -hmm. something. Or some kind of like Chocolate a berry sauce. sauce. Yeah, or any kind of sauce. So you this is it. You... There's all kinds Ketchup. of things. You... Pickle juice. <laughs> It would go good with anything. It's so, so good. So I'm going to have to go five. I can't find anything wrong with it. I, I'm pleasantly surprised. Yeah. So five Amazing. for me. And you got to say which one you like better. Too. Okay. Um, for me, I definitely like the tart berry, the, the fruits, the forest, whatever it was called, um, as well. Um, mostly because um, I just love tart. Tart is so delicious. And I'm actually not a raisin fan, and I'm eating this one just fine. The raisins taste delicious in it, which I usually don't care for raisins, Works but out. the apple's great with, well, they're even all with the raisins. In there too, which yeah, they taste great in there. Um, so I'm going to choose the, the berry just because of the tart. Um, and I have to go five, too. I have never, ever made something from a grocery store that I just threw in my oven. That taste yeah. tasted this homemade. And it didn't better taste. than homemade. Yeah. I don't even think I could make anything this amazing. This is delicious. Two fives. Woohoo! All right, little Kim. So good. What are you going to give it? We gave it five, but we know that it's not really. I don't think I would have liked this as much when I was a kid. Yeah, not so much it's a kid. It's definitely thing, an sweetie. adult treat. Uh -huh. This is a sophisticated treat. Um, I would <laughs> give it. She this is hard for Kinley. <laughs> I give it one third. One third. <laughs> we you don't, don't like always it, like huh? it. What don't you like about it? The flakiness? I don't like cooked apples. She doesn't like cooked apples. I don't apples. like raisins. She doesn't like raisins. I don't like flaky stuff. <laughs> she doesn't like flaky stuff. <laughs> she doesn't like stuff. anything. <laughs> and I don't like mixed berries. And she doesn't okay. like mixed berries. Okay, that's so. fine. Okay, if you guys have seen this in your Aldi and you were on the fence about trying it, we say go for it. It is delicious. Um, if the... you're a child, don't get it. <laughs> get it for, your, for yourself. Not get it for, for your yourselves kids. if you're an adult. The um, puff pastry, it really does. It just puffs up, it browns in the oven, and it is flaky, and the fruit is amazing. It's really good. Makes me want to go to Germany. Let's go to Germany. I've always wanted to anyway. Hey guys, go try. Are these the only two flavors? They're the only two flavors that I saw. So at, the at apple or mixed berry strudel from Germany <laughs> or from Aldi? From Aldi. Go try them out today. Look how good those look.